I'm Nicola. Today we're going to draw a tree frog. Now I've drawn a cartoon frog before, you'll find that on my other videos. Um, but this one's a little bit more difficult because it's at a different angle, so I've made this harder. I'll just show you a picture of the tree frog I've already done. So there we go. If you wanted to use those colours, there's the colours. Or you could use whatever colours you like. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. And I hope my little dog will be ace today. She's been a good girl today. She's been in the garden, so she's enjoyed that. So let's have a look. I'm going to start with the legs, actually. I don't know why. I usually start with the head. I'm going to go through that. And then to there. And then little feet. They've got cute little toes. I think they're very pretty, these. I think maybe because they're colourful. I think that's why. Another leg. And you want to have the toes on. That's one. And out. In. Out. In. And then we're going to go up to around here. If I go too fast, pause the video. Sometimes I get carried away. So there we go. That's one. Showing the little belly on there. And I'm going to draw a line all the way down to here. I need to try and get it so it's in level with that one. So here we go. This is going to be the chest. There we go. More or less level. Now it's going to have a foot. I've done a line there and it's going to have this one's at the front and the other one's at the back. So it has a line across that because it's further back and this foot needs to be further forward than that one. So let me have a go. To do that and draw the toe. It's only further forward because this one's in front. So always do one closest to you in front. Do these little toes. I love the little toes. <laughs> there we go. She's been a good girl today. She was she was a bit cheeky yesterday. She kept pulling the rug around the room and trying to shake in it. <laughs> That's his bottom and back. Tried to get it so it's level. If you imagine a line there. Okay, so now they've got big cheeks, so I'm just going to draw one on that side and I'm going to come in a little bit to there. On this side, I'm not going to do that because it didn't look right when I tried. So I'm just going to put it there like that. I know they've got bulgy eyes, but what I'm going to do first is draw a line. I'm going to stop about there. And then we've got an idea of how big the bulgy is. So I'm going to put them about that big because they've got nice big eyes. So I'm going to start with this side first. And the reason for that, and I always do it wrong, as you'll see on the other videos, is now when I move my hand, I can still see that. So I can get it similar as possible. So, there we go. Now, through these videos, if you find it easier, and I usually draw with pencil first, I sketch with a pencil. That's a fine one. I usually draw like that with a pencil, and then I can draw around it when I'm happy with it and rub it out. I never usually draw with a pen like this, first off. Now, I'm trying to make these eyes as round as possible. Sometimes I find it difficult. I've done it wrong. I should have done that one. I should have done this one first I've, I, every time. Because <laughs> I can't see that one now. So I've got to guess that it's the same. Like that. I've got to try and make it the same now. Whereas if I'd have done that one first, see that's a little bit smaller than that one. So if I'd have done that one first, I could have seen it. So don't make my mistakes. I do it every single time. I never learn. I want these little nostrils. And I want him to be happy. So I'm going to do just like that on that side. And then I'm going to draw it. I'm going to come down and across a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, because I can't, my hand is struggling. So I'm going to turn the paper. And then I can move my hand. She's being, dare I say, she's being a good girl today. <laughs> so, now I'm going to draw some little circles. Very little ones. One there. Actually, it looks quite cute like that. <laughs> and one there. Right, so then, I'm going to draw a bigger circle. Coming off. So work your way out. Don't need to rush. A bit bigger than that. And as you can see now, that looks like he's got a nice shiny eye. I like it like that. And 
the same on this side. Uh, yeah, right, it is harder to draw the circle straight off, which I sometimes find. So there we go. Or you could draw around that. I think he needs to move in his little neck in a bit more. So I'll just show you before I just have to open my computer again. The colours. Now I've not put lines on mine because it looks better if you just put the colour on. So we've got this bit here. If you add lines on, it will be it doesn't look as good. So I've not put lines on on where the colour is. You can use your crayons or your felt tips or paints to do that. So you can go back on the video and have a look at that. Um, so I would like to say thank you for watching again. And if you would like to send your pictures to me, uh, my details are below and I will share them on my Facebook page. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time.